Hi, I'm Jen and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I am a self-taught artist and small business owner. Today I'd like to talk about something that I think is really important for any small business and that is building a strong online presence. Now, whether you're an artist or a small business owner, perhaps you're both, like me, having a solid online presence is key to reaching a wider audience, connecting with your customers, and building your brand. I've learned this firsthand through my own experiences, and I've truly believed that anyone can benefit from focusing on their online presence. So I'd like to share some tips and insights that I've learned that helped me to improve my own online presence. So whether you're just starting out or you're looking to take your online presence to a new level, I hope you'll find this video helpful and informative. I'd also like to add that today's video is sponsored by Dotstore Domains, but more on them later. So for now, let's get into the steps to build a strong online presence. Your brand name is like a digital handshake because it's the first impression that your audience has of you. When you choose a brand name, it's really important to pick one that's unique, especially as more and more businesses enter the market. Having a name that stands out will definitely give you an edge and help your business succeed. It's also good to think about what the purpose behind your business is and how your name may reflect that. For me, my goal is to spread positivity and help others connect with their inner child through my art and my products. Similarly, if you're an online store and your goal is to sell, it would make sense to have your brand reflect that. When I first decided to post my art online, I spent about a week brainstorming ideas for names. I wanted it to be something that reflected me in some way. Since I have a common name, I knew I needed something a little more unique. I was also more drawn to names in a different language or just using a less common words. So I made a list of all the things that I personally like or enjoy and things that I love to draw. From this list, I started translating them into other languages and the first language that I started with was Latin. I studied Latin throughout middle school and high school and after going through the list, the one that stuck out most to me was fructus, which means fruit in Latin. I decided that this was going to be my name and so fructus illustrations came to be. When you're selecting your name, you should also make sure that the brand name you pick is available for your website domain and social media handles. It's good to have the same brand name transcend across all these platforms to help establish a strong, unique brand. As some of you may know, finding a good brand name on .com is almost impossible. But if you're really in love and set on a name, you don't have to settle for a name that doesn't feel right or is going to harm your brand in the future. Instead, I recommend that you should use a .store domain if your business is selling online. .store can help you secure a short, memorable brand name of your choice and allow you to stand out. .store is an extension that is meant exclusively for e-commerce and clearly calls out that your website is an online store making your brand more memorable and unique. When it comes to building a brand, visual aesthetics also play a key role. The first step is having a consistent color scheme. By choosing colors that reflect the tone and vibe of your content, you can create a cohesive and recognizable brand name that sets you apart from any competition. For me, I knew I wanted my brand to have bright colors, so I went first with my favorite color, red, as the main color, and added yellow because it's such a happy color and goes well with my purpose behind my brand. With your colors picked, the other important aspect of building your brand is creating a logo. Your logo is like the face of your brand, so it's important to keep it simple but memorable and, and have it reflect your brand's personality. My logo features a bear that's actually an apple with a little stem and leaf on its head. Why? Well, to put it simply, I've always loved apples and bears, and the two of those things are often the main subjects of my art. Plus, the apple ties very nicely with the name of my brand, Fructus Illustrations. Lastly, having a consistent art style can help you stand out and build credibility with your audience. While it's okay to experiment with different styles as you're starting out, Finding a unique style that's all your own can help your audience recognize your work and feel more connected to your brand. It took me some time to find my own style, but now that I have it, 
I try to use it consistently across all my content. If you're still searching for your own style, don't worry, it's a process. You can check out one of my previous videos where I talked about the tips that I use to find of my artistic style. If you're an artist looking to showcase your work to a larger audience, one of the best ways to do that is by creating your own website or online store. This will serve as the central hub where people can browse your portfolio, get to know you better, or even purchase your art. Now, you may be wondering which platform to use for your website or store since there are plenty of options out there. But remember, choosing the right one depends largely on your own goals, budget, and technical experience. When I first started my business, I had little experience with website building, and my main focus was to generate an income and to start making sales. And so my decision came between selling on an online marketplace like Etsy or building my own website using a platform like Squarespace or Shopify. Etsy is a great option for most people who are just starting out. But for me, I realized that it wasn't really what I was looking for. And while Shopify is great for commerce, I found that Squarespace offered more flexibility to create the whole experience of a website with the store included. During my decision-making process, I found that I wanted to create an online space that would go beyond just selling products to my customers. And Squarespace was the one that fit my needs and budget. But most importantly, it allowed me to build a website that not only showcases my products, but also provides a unique and immersive experience for my visitors and customers. So if you're thinking of creating your own website or store, Take the time to research and find the platform that best suits your needs and goals. If you do choose to have a website, the next step is to get a custom domain. This is where your brand name comes back to play. Whatever platform you've chosen to build your website, you'll need to buy a domain name to represent your web identity. I highly recommend to use .store for anyone selling online because if your website's main goal is to sell, there's no better way to say it than with a .store domain. It tells people right away that your website is a store and it's associated with selling. You can buy a dot .store domain on any registrar like GoDaddy and Namecheap, or even on a website builder like Shopify, Wix, or Squarespace. Celebrities like Rihanna, Maroon 5, Michelle Obama, big brands such as Fabric Castell and Discord, influencers like Zach King and Do Perfect, and 1 million more sellers are already using dot .store domains for their online stores. .store is the go-to domain name for anyone who wants to sell online and you shouldn't choose otherwise. Since my purpose was to have a place where I could engage better with my audience, I chose a .com domain for my website, but the online store of my website is using a .store domain. If you were to type in www.fructos.store, it would automatically take you to my store page, so I get the best of both worlds. So if you're looking to get started, here's the best part for my viewers. .store is offering an exclusive discount to help you secure your own .store domain for just 99 cents for the year if you use the coupon code FRUCTOSSTORE. Just head to www.get.store using the link in my description, find a domain name of your choice, add it to your cart, and check out using the coupon code. It's really that easy. So a big thank you to Dot Store Domains for sponsoring today's video. So by now we have a unique brand name and visual identity and we secured a great domain for our website on Dot Store. But now we need a way to get people to actually visit our websites. This is where I think social media comes in. As someone who loves creating art and is currently building a business around it, I can tell you firsthand how important it is to have a social media presence. Not only is it a great way to get free marketing, but it's also an excellent opportunity to connect with people who share similar interests as you. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but how do I gain followers and how do I get attention to my art? Well, it definitely takes time and effort, but trust me, I think it's totally worth it. The first thing I focused on was engagement. Engaging with your audience and other accounts is a big help to gaining your own followers. For me, this meant liking, commenting, and sharing posts that resonated with me. I would follow and interact with posts and other accounts that I was genuinely interested in because while I was looking to grow my account, I was also looking to build my own happy little community and make real connections. 
when it comes to what you post, the important thing to note is to find the content that you enjoy most creating. For me, I started posting my art on Instagram in October 2021. I made the commitment to post five times a week for an entire year to practice and develop my skills and my style. Doing this helped me stay accountable while also beginning to grow my audience. I also experimented with other platforms like TikTok, but I kept my main focus on Instagram until the end of 2022 when I started posting more regularly to TikTok. And just recently in February of this year, I expanded to YouTube and found that I enjoy creating longer videos to share my experience and knowledge with others. Now, I understand that being on social media can be intimidating for some people. Putting ourselves out there on the internet can be scary, and it's natural to worry about negative comments or discouragement. One thing that I've learned along the way is to not engage with negativity. It's important for me to stay focused on the goals and remain consistent with the process. Don't let negative comments or opinions get in the way of what you want to achieve because the power of the internet is immense and it can lead to so many new and exciting opportunities for you. I'll be honest though, I was super nervous about posting online in the beginning, especially since I'm an introvert and tend to be shy and private, but I realized that this was a challenge I had to face. And I've realized that the longer I've been doing this, the easier it gets and the more confidence I felt in myself. I think with some determination and consistency, you too can achieve your goals. I know that starting your own business and being the one in charge of everything can feel overwhelming at times, but don't worry, you're definitely not alone. As a fellow small business owner myself, I've been there and I will probably have those moments again. But that's totally normal and the best thing to do is take a break, take a deep breath, and keep going. And if you're an introvert or a shy person like me, putting yourself out there online can be a lot. But trust me, building an online presence is vital for your business. It can help you reach those new audiences, connect with customers, and build a trustworthy brand identity. Now, I'm not saying you have to do everything at once. Taking small steps is the key to achieving your goals, and you should do them at your own pace. Start by just getting your domain name today or setting up a social media profile. Share your work or your products with the world and see what resonates with your audience. Remember, building an online presence is a journey and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. What's important is that you keep learning and growing, so don't be afraid to put yourself out there and see what happens. You might just surprise yourself with what you can achieve. If you found this video helpful, please leave me a like and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Additionally, don't forget to subscribe for more art-related videos, and if you want to further support me and my small business, please consider taking a look at my online store. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!